Hello everyone, this is Kitsi Ronan, aka Sir Rob. Uh, so I'm disappointed that we did not get a Dark Mythic for this banner, uh, but I'm still going to be pulling on it uh, because I have the spark. Uh, I'm subscribed to Fate Pass for like three more days, so uh, my goal is to get uh, some merges for Peony for Ether Raids. Uh, so I'm going to be sniping blue. Uh, second priority is green, if there's no blues, uh, with a chance of getting a merge for Odor. I was considering sniping for a uh, green, but um, Odor's actually sharing with Dagger's banner uh, in May, as far as I'm aware. Uh, so uh, it's not so much of a priority to get a merge for him uh, today, uh, but there's also the chance of getting a, an Ascended Fjorm. I don't have far save yet, so that would be useful, but uh, it's not quite useful enough uh, for me to pull on versus pulling for uh, the mythic merge, which is uh, guaranteed points uh, in ether rates. So uh, let's get started. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I already have Julia at plus 10, uh, but the rationale here is that Julia is probably going to get a remix uh, sometime this year, uh, and so she's going to get a new skill uh, that's inheritable, and hopefully that's useful. And yeah, that's why I, I uh, considered sniping for green uh, instead, just because uh, I I didn't want to get Julius if I could avoid it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to wait until March to get a Dark Mythic. Hopefully, I mean, it's not guaranteed to be in March. Uh, I don't have Note yet. I know, um, I believe she's being rerun in February, uh, but I feel like at this point, I might as well just wait for the new Dark Mythic. Uh, that boots well, I'm glad we got an Arthur. He's good luck. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I don't expect to get anything, honestly. Just the spark, which is fine. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, it's really the uh, potential remix banner with Naga and Air that I am really hoping I get lucky on. Uh, these would be great to start getting those Golden Thrones more consistently. I think that's my first Roshea. I don't think I'll ever use him, but that's cool. In Aurelis, my comrades and I are known as the Coyotes' men. Yeah, that's not a great name. Well, the name was the Wolf card before, right? I like that name better. Oscar? I still use Oscar in Ether Rates. I don't use them as frequently as Fallen Edelgard, but uh, they have different roles. Or they have different strengths. I don't think we'll ever get Resplendent Oscar, but uh, if we did, I would get Fae Pass for him. I don't want to be subscribed to Fate Pass all the time because I, that's just not in my, 
That's not as much money as I want to be spending on this team. I am, uh, I'm good at beginning uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. I have it pre-ordered. I think it releases today, but uh, since I'm getting a physical copy shipped, it's not going to be here for another couple of days. So yeah, <laughs> I'm already spending money on gaming, so uh, it's not the best idea to spend lots of money on Faye. And yeah, uh, once again, I'm pulling on a mythic banner without actually pulling for the a showcased mythic. And um, that's just because uh, I, I don't really need offense mythics outside of the ones I'm merging. So, and I think uh, the ones that I'm using, they're useful to me. And uh, I don't think a lot of people see it that way, but. Uh, I find Altina and Naga to be very useful, and of course Regin as well. Naga helps Fallen Edelgard transform. Altina is excellent at Gale Force uh, if I need her to do that, and she's also excellent at baiting if I need her to do that. Uh, yeah, so different uh, teams that I have in AR uh, see Altina using different sets. Because uh, sometimes I gale force, sometimes I uh, tank. Best, but uh, I prefer her um, regular artwork. Just because uh, I'm not really into the fairy design. Oh, yes, yes. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of fairies, just I just said I didn't like your design, but uh, <laughs> you came anyway. <laughs> That's good. Right, that, that's officially a good session, regardless of whether or not I get anything else. I should probably mention who I voted for in CYL. <laughs> and I guess if you follow me, you probably know, but uh, I voted seven times for Robert from Thracia776. And I never played Thracia776, I just think it'd be funny to uh, have a character with my name in the game. <laughs> and uh, last year I voted for Kiza seven times, and they put them in the game, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, I think uh, Robert's chances are significantly lower, though. <laughs> and uh, Kisa's chances were very, very low to begin with. And I'm not really concerned about who actually wins CYL. I'm never really concerned about that. Because uh, I like uh, pretty much all the Fire Emblem characters. I think they all have 
Uh, they all have likable qualities to them. Even if I say I don't like one or the other, I mean, I don't, there's none that I completely hate. It's all in good fun. And I have a lot of Urshias. Speaking of characters I don't like. <laughs> but like, you know, now we her personality isn't bad. It's her design that's bad. And like, it's not it's bad in the sense that it's like appealing to a specific audience. But I, I don't think I should talk anymore about that. And I did get responded for Arena as well. Uh, clearly, because I have the spark for this banner. <laughs> and I, I do prefer the uh, responded design. Even though I'm not really into uh, the responded dialogue. It's like, it's all the same. They always talk about their costumes and the... the Countries and Fire Emblem Heroes. It's a little boring. Another Lucas. I, I forget if I'm still using Lucas. <laughs> he has infantry pulse on him, so he's always going to be at least a little useful. Uh, but yeah, he tends to be a unit that I tend to switch in and switch out uh, depending on the individual needs of the teams I'm using. Oh, there's Julia. <laughs> Is there always a rainbow in the background? But yeah, I, <laughs> I guess getting her is not so bad because I actually need <laughs> Earth Blessings. Oh, I haven't seen Valmar in forever. Yeah, red. Maybe it's Roy. Nope. better than I was hoping for. Uh, where's Peony? There you are. Excellent. So now she's plus three. And I have 2,000 orbs saved up for Naga and Air's revival. That's gonna make a big impact on my Ether Rage score. Very excited about that. And I got a Celestial Stone. <laughs> the past subscribers are like... They have so many advantages over free-to-play players. It's so stupid. I do not like it. Uh, 
okay. Let's attack. <laughs> I'll have to think about whether I actually care about that or not. Uh, Alright, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope your summons go, uh, I guess, as good or better than mine did. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.